Okay, before we get into long division of polynomials, we just need to do regular division of a polynomial divided by a monomial. Okay, one term here on the top, there are three terms uh, separated by subtraction signs here. And uh, s what ends up happening is sometimes we get confused with the difference between dividing two monomials, which is what we've been doing. We've been canceling, we've been subtracting exponents and such like that, and a polynomial and a monomial. Sometimes I see this happen a lot. I see people just look and go, oh, hey, 12 goes into, uh, 3 goes into 12 four times, so I'm going to cross it out and change that to a 4. You cannot do that. You just can't. Because you've only taken into consideration one piece of all three pieces when you did that division. That is completely wrong. So if you have this idea in your head that you're just going to start canceling things out of one section, get it out of your head. I don't know. Smack yourself on the face. It's something. Get it out of your head. That is not the rule. The rule is basically the distributive property, but with division. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each part by this. There are three parts in the top, three monomials. 12p cubed t squared r, that's one. So I'm going to divide this by that, by the bottom, and then I'm going to go to the next one, 21p squared qtr squared. Whew. And I'm going to divide that. And then lastly, I'm going to divide 9p cubed tr by it as well. Another way uh, that uh, might be more visual for some of you is to write this out as three division problems. Okay, where I'm going to do three division problems. So I'm going to divide this by that, that by that, and the last one by, by it. And since there's subtraction on each one, that's why I have a minus sign here. Okay, so I'm going to put on the top 12p cubed t squared r here. And on the top there, I'm going to put 21p squared q t r squared. Again, the minus sign is right here. And 9p cubed tr. That's going to be on the top. Now all of these are being divided by the same thing. So 3p squared tr is going to go underneath all of these. Okay. And now this is a question from the first section from dividing monomials. So again, so I divide numbers just the same way. Divide numbers the same way. When I divide things with letters and powers, I'm going to subtract. Top power minus bottom power. So here we go. 12 divided by 3. Well, that's 4. P cubed divided by P squared. Okay, I'm subtracting. 3 minus 2 is 1, so that's P to the 1. I'm just going to write P. T squared divided by T. 2 minus 1, that's T. R divided by R. Well, that cancels. It's gone. So it's not there anymore. Minus, because I have a minus here, 21 divided by 3 is 7. Again, numbers, just numbers. Do it the same way. P squared divided by P squared, that cancels. They're both the same. Q, no Q on the here. So the Q stays. It's on the top, so it's just Q to the first, just regular Q. T divided by T, that cancels. R squared divided by R. 2 minus 1 is 1. So I just have a, an R, R to the 1, just a regular R. Now, last one, minus 9 divided by 3 is 3. And p cubed divided by p squared is just p. t divided by t cancels, r divided by r cancels, and I'm done. So, this whole division problem came down to this. Again, when you divide something with multiple terms on the top and one term on the bottom, so a polynomial divided by a monomial, you use the distributive property like you would with, a, with if it were parentheses and something being multiplied. The same principle, except for now you're dividing everything from the bottom. So divide the first one by the bottom, the second one by the bottom, third one by the bottom. No matter how many terms you have, you're going to divide each one individually by this bottom piece. It's basically the distributive property for division. Okay, now on to long division. Now, in order to show you how to do long division in a way that is somewhat easy to remember, I need to remind you how regular long, di long division works. So we're going to work out a problem, a regular, with just numbers, and then we're going to work out one with polynomials. There are many, many similarities. There are some differences, and so there are some new things to remember, but 
for the most part, the flow of the problem is very similar to this flow. Uh, the other thing is, is that we have been using synthetic division, and synthetic division only works when you're dividing by something that's like x plus 5 or x minus 2. Something really simple like that where it's just a, a letter plus or minus some number. Okay, so it could be a plus 3 or x minus 2. A letter plus or minus some other number. And synthetic division works really nice and fast that way. But this is x squared. It's not x plus 1. It's x squared plus 1. Synthetic division just doesn't have a method for this. And so even though uh, this is going to be more complicated, it is the only method. Long division will solve um, every division problem of polynomials like this. Uh, even the ones that you could use synthetic division, you can always use long division. It will always work. There's no case where long division is not going to work. Uh, but there are times if you can use synthetic division, I recommend it because long division is, by definition, longer. So let's go. Okay, so here we go. So first we need to set it up like long division is set up. So here I have 3,572 divided by 17. The thing that is dividing the other one goes right here in our long division uh, uh, method. So uh, once again, the 17 goes here. We are Hopefully you all remember this. And then the number that's being divided goes underneath uh, this symbol here. And this is how we set up our long division. Okay. Likewise, we're going to do the same thing with the polynomial. This is the thing that's dividing the other, so it goes in this place. And this polynomial is being divided, so it goes here. Now, you may notice something kind of different about this and that. And if you look, I have x to the fifth here. I have 2x to the fourth there, and I have minus 5 there. But in between there, between x, 2x to the fourth and minus 5, I have three extra things. And this is because I need placeholders. I need placeholders for these other powers. Here's to the fifth power, there's to the fourth power, but there's nothing to the third, to the second, to the first in this polynomial, so I need a placeholder. It's similar to in a R number system that we write 207, and the zero has no value, but it's a placeholder. It's telling me that this is different from 27. Okay, Because the zero is, indicates some sort of value there that uh, is, cannot be indicated if I don't write a number. So I have to write the number to uh, indicate that value. Now, in polynomials, it's a similar way, except for we don't necessarily need to write it in this case, but when we do the division, I need those placeholders again. I need them there. So if they're not there, I'm just going to put them there. Because 0x cubed is 0. I haven't changed anything. 0x uh, squared is also 0 and 0x. Zero so I haven't changed anything. I've just put placeholders. So let's erase all this and get started one step at a time. So here.